I spoke to you, I was, yeah, this is the last Sunday of the month that we're having uh, opportunity to uh, give to the Interfaith Council. Previously, I spoke to you in general terms about what, what they did, which is quite extensive, but this morning I wanted to point out uh, what, the, what one of the um, entities, the Anti-Violence Task Force, is actually does to promote the cause. And that's represented by posters I put on this board. Um, so I, I just wanted to point out what these things were. So on June the 6th, there's a citywide race against gun violence. And locally, um, I think it's called Strides for Peace which the Mormon church is uh, very active in supporting and, provo and promoting. It's in Grant Park at 6.30 p.m., so that means that people that work <laughs> can walk. We have, um, in the Interfaith Council, there are about three people, I believe, that actually are gonna walk. So to support this, you could, um, you could give money on behalf of those particular people. I think you would have to go to the um, website of this to find out how to actually do that. All of these things, by the way, are open to the community. Um, then there are two things on June the 8th, <laughs> which is the same date that we have something here. But anyway, these are things offered uh, supported by the Antivirus Task Force. One is the, um, a gathering at Augustana Lutheran Church on June the 8th to support the Keith Cooper Fund. Keith Cooper, a longtime Hyde Parker and member of Augustana Lutheran Church, was killed July 2021 during an attempted carjacking. I, I remember that quite plainly. It was in um, Kimbark Plaza, and it was such a shock <laughs> to people that this would happen just for no reason. Um, he was a mentor to many young people. So what the Augustana decided, along with his family, Augustana has decided to set up this fund that gives grants to young people between the ages of 16 and 26 who live in Chicago. Recipients can use the grants to overcome economic or social barriers they face as they launch themselves in life. And I know, um, so the feeling is you support the young people who are involved in violence, give them opportunities to succeed. Um, and I think they have I think the purpose of this is other than to send kids to college, this is aimed sort of at kids that don't go to college, but give them a chance uh, to pursue their interest so that they can support themselves. And also on June the 8th, there's uh, something called Summer Vibes Peaceful Lives. Uh, and the Purpose is a community convening to build and strengthen community violence, community violence intervention, mental health, healing, and solutions for peaceful living. This will occur at the Kenwood United Church of Christ. Um, it features community fireside chats, breakout sessions, and resource providers. Um, so those are three things that, that the task force is actually doing. And then finally, I wanna mention later on in June, June 20th is the um, annual meeting of the Interfaith Council and it will be at Congregation Road Feed Zedek and there's parking there. And I encourage people to plan to come because the people who actually are active in these various uh, events and concerns that the 
Interfaith Council supports will be there and explain in person what they're doing. It's very informative place to be. And there will be, uh, it starts at 5.30 and it includes supper, something to eat, and then the program. And it's, I um, can't remember how, how long it's planned to be, but not, not more than three hours, I don't think. So, thank you.